Hello and welcome to Storytime Gamer. We're going to play some Elden Ring. I'm so excited to play this. I've been waiting to finish Horizon Forbidden West before jumping into this. Uh, I'm making sure that I take, uh, you know, this becomes the focus. I'm so excited. I've been watching others play, uh, getting an idea of how this game is. I'm just been uh, excited and in love with the lore and the story and the gameplay. Um, and I've just been really wanting to jump in and now is a good time to jump in. So I'm actually going to take some tips and things I've witnessed and looked at online from other players and apply that to my playthrough. Um, just, it's such a great community that's out there that's playing this game. And if you've never played one of these games from, uh, the de developers from software, I will explain as we go, but I am picking, um, this character is a prisoner, female character. We're going to start off with a golden seed, which gives us our flasks. Let me put it in a name here. We're going to, we're going to have a fun name. Which one is there? Surprise! <laughs> All right, let's get into it. The fallen leaves tell a story. the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. of the Badlands, the ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater. And Sir Gideon of Mere, the all
and one other, whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. Hooray! So this is Elden Ring. Pillage these remains. Alright, so there's a lot to be unpacked there. So, we are what's called a Tarnished. We have been resurrected and chosen, just, it seems randomly, out of all the other possible people to be reborn in this... this never-ending loop of life and death. And we, as Tarnished, are supposed to go out and try to the lands between, which is this world we've come to. There's what's called an air tree, and we're supposed to get the Elden Ring back, the Golden Order, which is, from what I understand, the proper cycle of life and death where the death dead cannot rise again. And that's because... Um, someone we will meet later stole the rune of death, so which means that death can't come. So that's why in this game, I will die many times and come back. And fight and fight. It is also a very difficult game. But we're going to get through it. I've been through other from software games, so we'll be fine. Except for this guy, I don't think we're going to beat him. I don't know. Do you think I can do it? Nope. Nope. Guess what? We're supposed to die there. It's all good. I have to get used to the controls because I'm still fresh off of uh, Horizon Forbidden West and the setup's a bit different, so... Start hitting a button, it's out of habit. And I'll get used to this one. But yeah, so this is from Software's newest game. They're in charge of Dark Souls, Demon's Souls, Sekiro, Kingsfield, and they're all notoriously difficult. Have similar things to them. The horse, of course. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek. The Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order.
Flask of Crimson Tears. Flask of Cerulean Tears. So that's our health, that's our magic. And if we go over here, right down there, that's a tutorial area. I actually have booted this up and I've gone through there before. It's been a while, but I think I've gotten the gist of everything I need to do. So we're going to get straight into the actual game. Uh, and uh, my class, because you have different classes, warrior, mage, so on and so forth. This is called the prisoner class. And they're kind of uh, got some s dexterity for sword play and some magic use. And that's kind of where I want to be is magic and sword abilities. So I just pillage some items. Uh, cooperative multiplayer use tarnished finger world fingers to write a golden summon sign. That means someone can summon me if I was happen to be online and be like, hey, I need your help at a boss. And these are sights of grace. You get used to seeing these because just like the uh, campfires in Horizon and just like bonfires in Dark Souls, these are our safe points. These are our place to rest. These are our places to fast travel. Fun times. These are gargoyles. No, I don't want to use the stone key. I need two because you put a stone key into each gargoyle and there's a whole hidden area down here. I might venture in there later, just not now. Because what we're going to do is we're going to hop around the map and get some stuff. I'm going to get me some items that'll give me an advantage early on in the game. Because the one thing about this game other than it being just gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. The thing about this game, it is open world into the truest sense. Materials. In every corner of the lands between, you will find fruits, flowers, mushrooms, and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for crafting. Yep. Okay. Um, and you can actually jump in this game. We're gonna touch the side of grace. Alright. Um, yep. Map. So I have a map. Yep, map menu. In the map menu, you can check your current position in terrain and buildings surrounding area. This will be helpful. I have to find map fragments in order to actually show images on it. And we can stand right here. And what's beautiful about this game is that everything you see is a something we can get to. So it's being rendered at the proper time and it's all right there in the distance so we could go to that tower there we're going to go to this castle here eventually but not right now because that's going to be a tough area and we need to level up a, a few spells before we go up uh we're going to talk to this guy real quick oh yes tarnished are we come to the lands between for the elden ring hmm? of course you have no shame in it unfortunately for you However, you are maidenless, without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. I'm going to talk to him a few more times. For you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace. Look like up there. Path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. <laughs> so what he's saying is that, see, there's this little, uh, kind of like arrow of light graphic that's pointing us to the next direction that we need to go, and we'll find another side of Grace there. And, uh, that's the genius of this, of this game, is that I can just run around here. I can go wherever I want. There'll be difficult bosses and creatures. Oop, I don't want to jump to my death just yet. There'll be difficult 
battles and people to fight along the way. And that kind of tells you if you're strong enough or not for that area. Summoning pools. So we'll get some summoning here in a bit. Cool. Um, like this guy up here, I do not want to mess with. He's right out the gate, literally. But he is strong and I am not ready to fight him. So we're just going to run around him. Try not to make him mad. But I will take some, uh... Oop, I was hoping to get some items from that, because you could harvest animals and get some parts. Side of Graces will point you in the direction that for the main story. And that's great and all, and there's a great main story to it, but then there's these NPCs like the guy I was talking to that will have different storylines, quest lines, and different pieces of information that will unveil more of the story, more of the lore. Fast travel to Sites of Grace. Yep. And that is something we will totally get into once we get further in. Here it is. What I just picked up is what's called a golden rune, and that's basically... Uh, runes are what gives us powers, gives us uh, upgrades. Yep, strength armaments right here. There's this... I can upgrade items here if I wanted to, but there's also a guy we will come to, an actual blacksmith, and he'll upgrade more weapons for us um, as we get to it. So, uh, I know there's a lot of I'm explaining as we're playing, but that's just kind of get the idea of what's going on. But also playing it will be kind of self-explanatory too. Now, I picked... The other reason why I picked this class, the prisoner, is because the character in the helmet reminds me of Griffith from, uh, Berserk, which is one of my favorite animes. I would say that that anime is definitely a Game of Thrones of anime. Ooh, let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. Ooh, wrong button. See, I'm already hitting the wrong buttons from playing uh, Horizon. I was trying to hit the sneak button. There we go. Any items? Nope. Looks like there's some items here. Let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. Since we're here and all. The game itself likes to try to teach you how the game world works. Through, uh... Just walking through areas. Oop! Let's just get these guy. Yep. It's actually stronger than I realized for him, but, you know. Let's see what's over here. That's a cave of some sort. Yeah, groups that cave. So we'll be going to a lot of these. I'm not going to go here just yet, but I'm going to go ahead and activate this so we can come back later. And I'm actually going to mark... well, it's been marked on my map. Okay. There's caves, and there's dungeons, mini dungeons, big dungeons, just lots of fun things. Oh, and just beautiful effects like this rain right here. Let's see if I can get this deer. Oh! Dagnabbit. Not today. We're gonna come right over here. And there's another side of grace. We'll go ahead and unlock it. And here's the cool thing. Is if you've never played one of these games that the I kill the enemies. And then they're dead. But if I go to a site of grace like that and I rest, they will respawn. Which makes it difficult depending on what area you're in. And what we're going to do, we're going to run over here, grab this map, then run to our safe, safe space. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do! 
See, oh, he's calling for reinforcements. I'm not going to mess with this area just yet because I want to grab my items first. So we're going to get to our little save point here. Aha, and it'll reset the whole entire area because we're resting. But also, here we go. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Ooh. Yay! Spectral steed. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. And Torrent will be our best friend. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Shall I turn your runes to strength? I don't know if I have enough let to level up, but let's look. Upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. Your thoughts. Level up menu. With level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. Yep. The principles you would follow. I don't have enough yet. Memorize spells. So this is where I learn my spells. I don't have enough spells yet. We're just gonna go on. And there she goes. Horseback riding. Use a spectral steed. Whistle to summon your ride. You can dismount by whistling again or by pressing L3. Um, yeah, so here's the pouch. From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches, and these are makes it easy to access. So triangle up, right, left, right, it gets to my little pouch menus and items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and equip... Our steed. Let's do this. What is this for? Lose all runes, return to the last side of grace. I'm not going to do that. Okay. There's that. Actually, here's. E e Sorry. There we go. All right, that way I can quickly get to a flask of health or my cerulean tears uh, without having to do too much of menu tracking. Because right now I have to hit that to get to my cerulean tears, but all I do have to do now is quick menu right there. Aha, and we've got our horse. Oop. I just picked up an item. What's great about this game is that even at night, there'll be different enemies. Oop. Oop. <laughs> I'm trying to find... Where is it? There's a burial site. 
over here. And right now I've just made all the entire camp mad at me. I'm not ready to take on the entire camp. Is it over here? Doop a doop a doop doo. Where is it? No. There's a little tomb to go into. I get some power, uh, some items that'll be useful. Maybe it's over here. Hmm. Here, let's jump off. Now that we've made the whole, the whole camp angry at us. But that's great. So, you know, I don't have to go through there and attack all these guys. I can just ride right through. There it is. Just want to run right through here. Excuse me, fellas. Adding skills. Blah, 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 blah. So this is something we're called our uh, Ashes of War. And those are handy in fighting. And ooh! Okay, so there's this glow on me that I've read about or looked at before, and basically what it does is it gives me a little bit of a bonus for getting, um... runes. Let's try some fighting, okay? Yeah! See, look, I died so easily! No business fighting these guys, because I'm not used to the combat, still. And, uh, I don't have a good... I don't have that much good magic, and I should really just sneak around them. Now, that's great about this game, is that... In previous games, you'd die and have to go all the way back to a bonfire, but there's these little... mini save points. Like that right there. See, upon dying, you'll be revived at the last point of grace that you visited. Probably shouldn't have gone at night, but it's all good. And as long as... Oops, wrong button. And as long as I'm good and I don't die, I can actually retrieve my previous runes. Now, if I were to die again before grabbing those, they would be gone, which is where a lot of people get frustrated. Not only because of the difficulty of the game, but because, um... I want to try something. Alright. But because, you know, you lose- you have a lot of uh, runes on you, you can't get back to them. You're like, oh no! You've lost them all, and so all that hard work is gone. This is not the best... ...for fighting on horseback. And I hope to get a better weapon. Yeah. The vanquishing enemy groups will replenish flasks and other things. Oh, come on now. There we go. Determination. Come on, bring it. Oop. Whoa. Okay. Let's get out of here. Ha ha! See, I shouldn't be messing with those guys. I need a better sword. I don't like how this one works. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I'm not going to take these guys on either. Not yet. But I guess I could see if I could just... Let's see. Can I just grab it? No, I can't just grab it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yep, they're not happy. Whoa. 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 Oh no, I'm just going to make them all mad. Ah! 
Can't be having that today, can we? Excuse me. Yep, I'm not messing with you either. Goodbye. Am I going the right way? No, I should have gone over here. Excuse me. Well, actually, well, I guess while I'm here, if I recall, there's a side of grace. No. There's a side of grace over here. I'm going to go ahead and activate it because this is this is an area we will be uh, starting off in because this is our low level area that's fitting for our character. And I want to clear through and just uh, get more stuff. Excuse me, buddy. Waha! Oop. Don't think I want to fight with these guys just yet. Nope. I'm gonna sneak attack this guy because there's a guy over there who actually has an item we do need. Bye! I'm gonna sneak up on this guy too. See if we can get him in one shot. Nice. I kinda wish I would automatically go back to my sneak status after doing a sneak kill like that, but it doesn't seem to really want me to do that. Nothing on him. What I just did there is a, it's a blocking. I forget what the technical term is, but I basically I can block and then right after the block, if I hit my strong attack, I can. Let's see what is this? Ooh, Starlight Shards. I can immediately attack back with a really strong counter attack. Let's see here. Bye bye. It's gotta be a. S I figure there'd be a point of grace around here somewhere, and I'm probably missing it. I really don't want to leave until we get it. What's what's over there? Oh, I know what that is. Yeah, this will be a tough mini-boss battle to do later. We're not gonna mess with it right now. Uh, what I picked up will help me get some more spells. Uh, especially the ones that will be, uh, really good for me in my long run. Or in the long run, I should say. Uh... Where am I gonna go? Okay, I'm just gonna follow that, oop, that point over there. I like being able to put down little markers. That way I know exactly where I need to go. Mmm. Meat. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look, there's like a little battle going on. Between some NPCs. Don't want to mess with them right now. But I think I've got a friend over here. Yes. Let's go ahead and talk to him. See, there's just so much to do, I can get easily distracted. Ah. Uh, you 
must be the new tarnished. You do well to steer clear of a gill lake, fledgling. The dragon roosts there, and it's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, unless you're mad, or wish to be burned alive, stay clear of the lake. Don't be a fool. Turn back before it's too late. Don't be a fool. Okay. I thought he had some more dialogue to give, but uh, he doesn't. So let's go over here. I'm not going in that lake yet because I know it's pretty dangerous. And there's some crabs. That, that's not the dangerous part. It, the danger would be from... I mean, those guys are going to kick my butt right now, I'm sure. But the danger would be from the dragon that'll swoop in. Let's see. Am I going the right way? Nope, I haven't even gotten to the road I'm supposed to get to. That's over here, okay. Waypoint ruins. Yep. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to mess with that. <laughs> All right. Ooh, let's see if we can do this, yeah? Oh, man. No wrong button. Ow. Maybe we could do it. Dag nab it almost. I'm going to try it again. Cuz uh after we beat this guy, I get to get to my better magic skills, and that's kind of what I want. So this way, we'll we'll respawn right outside this dungeon, and I'll actually have full everything, so they'll be good too. Let's see what we can do. Always up for a challenge. Let's see if we can grab this thing before the plane kills us. Oop! 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 <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Ow. Oop, not what I meant to do. Here we go, want to get these. That's what I wanted to do. Wah! Ow. See? They hit hard. Ow. Okay, I'm all out. Dang, I should I jumped too early. All right, third turn's a charm, right? I don't think I can, I think I can get this. I almost got him. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Can do it. 
Welcome to Elden Ring, people. Let's see if there's something else I can do real quick. Yep, I know. This is my equipment. Um... Yeah, I have no... Oop. Well... Let me see what this is like. Yeah, I know I won't be able to wield it effectively. Nope, not what I was trying to do. Not what I was trying to do. Nope. Hold on, everybody. Well, we could just try using this weapon. Because I think it's stronger. Try this again. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Dag Nabbit, I was trying. Oh, I thought I was dead. Oh, I could have got him. <laughs> I was trying to do one more attack. Okay, for realsies. We're gonna do it. 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 Welcome to Elden Ring. He did not like that, did he? Ha <laughs> ha! Oop! The other part about this game is figuring out your attack patterns from your enemies. Nope. Yes! Ha-ha! And there now there's a new point of great. Definitely gonna rest here. And the whole reason why this was important, because of this chick. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Salen, her sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Ah, a yen for glinstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. 
with a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Yes. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Ah, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. All right, shop menu. We need this and we will need this. How much? 1500 with a So we can only get one right now. Hold on. And then I should still have this. Is this enough? Almost. One more should do it. And then I should be able to get the other spell that I really need. Whoa, that's cool tonight. So these ghost people, if you haven't seen them, Young what they apprentice. do. First things oh, first. hold on. You are a tadpole when it comes to magic. Infantile. Without the legs to walk. So, to become a sorcerer, first, you must face your ignorance. Okay. Now, shall we start learning? Yes, please. So those ghost people that you see, they're not enemies. Those are actually other players, in case you didn't know. Uh, yeah, I want to use this. That'll be really helpful. And I'll come back for the other one later. Alright, cool. So that's going to be it for today's episode. Just an intro to Elden Ring and my gameplay uh, in my playthrough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I was trying to do before. Gather some items to get myself stronger for some of these initial areas. Uh, nothing too crazy story-wise or... You know, spectacle wise. When you think I'm going to try to do episodes based on spectacle, interest, story, things like that. But until next time, thanks for watching Storytime Gamer. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.